Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do uh, as you're getting set up and once you've imported that data is get a Gmail or your email client hooked up to Salesforce. Uh, Gmail as well as Outlook 365 have some awesome one-to-one -one integrations with Salesforce. This video is going to be for uh, the Gmail or G Suite of applications and getting your Gmail set up. So let's navigate to the setup screen. And the first step is that we're going to send through an external email source. So just type send into the quick find. We're going to click on this option that appears. Ensure that you toggle send through Gmail. Office 365 would, of course, toggle if that was your case. Uh, we'll toggle that on. Then the next step is email to Salesforce. So type in email to sale. It'll come up. Email to Salesforce, we just want to ensure that this is active. Essentially, it's making sure that you can log emails from an external source. Um, so it should be automatically checked, but if not, go ahead and check it. And then we're going to go to um, Lightning for Gmail. Typing in Lightning, you should see that appear. We'll click into Lightning for Gmail. And you should see uh, probably a, a pretty blank page, just this top tile, and then enable Lightning for Gmail. Go ahead and toggle that on. It's going to reveal the rest of the page here. There are some advanced features, and you could dive in or, or do some kind of, of your own research and exploration. But to get Gmail hooked up to Salesforce, all you do, all you have to do is uh, click this uh, toggle for the enabling and then ensure that enable enhanced email for lightning is also toggled on it should by default but this allows you to uh, essentially track email as an object in Salesforce so that you can report on it any emails you're sent you're sending or receiving can then be kind of regressed against activities that you're putting into opportunities and accounts that are trying to push the business forward so uh, once that's done, you're going to see in the top number three here has a quick link to the application in the Chrome Web Store. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to take you to the Web Store and give you uh, the pane for this quick Chrome extension add-in. Go ahead and add it to Chrome. You're going to see it populate in the right side here, a little Salesforce cloud. And then when you go to your email or your calendar, Please refresh it because it'll probably take a, a second to calibrate for you. And then once that's done, you're going to see this pane appear on the right side of both your email and of your calendar. And this is going to populate information about your contacts in Gmail that line up with information in Salesforce. So here I'm composing an email to Andy Young, and you can see that his contact record as well as the account he's associated with have populated. If he's associated with any custom objects or opportunities, those will also populate in this window. And then I can also see tasks um, you know, associated with my day. So I know from within Gmail, hey, I've got to knock off these tasks. Let me send some emails to the people that are um, you know, needing attention today. Another thing is while you're composing emails, you can save a new template from the information that you've written in your, e in your email or search through your existing templates and insert them uh, and they can pre-populate with customer information as well uh, like you know, subbing in the contact name and company and things like that. So awesome little tool and plug-in. Uh, the most important factor is that when you're sending or if you have received an email you'll see these little icons uh, on the kind of right side of their records. You're going to want to make sure that you're pressing that and it's just automatically going to log to all of the records that are associated in the pane so that your emails are tracked and can show up in Salesforce. Again, quickly we'll jump into the calendar for that same exact view and experience. When you're composing or viewing a meeting that you've set, you can again view information about any of the attendees that you've added and ensure that you log that to Salesforce so that you can track the events. Any future events will uh, will show up. I'll take I'll kind of dive back in and show you what I mean. Uh, if I go to a contact and young, for instance, 
it'll pull up a history of things I've completed. So these are emails that I sent to Andy. I had a meeting that I'd set last week, so it completed itself. If I have future meetings with attendees, they'll show up in this next steps view, which is great. Again, you can kind of uh, plan it so that you can show tasks or events that are set for today or this week so that you know when you come in in the morning, you know, what you've set for yourself and what you've got to knock out. Another quick and kind of the last thing to know is you can send email right from within Salesforce. Go to this little email tab on the right. You probably will see a message prompt that says, would you like to send from Gmail? Go ahead and click yes. What that's going to do is allow you to send from within Salesforce emails that come right from your Gmail account. So when you send here in this window, and again, you can populate, you can attach files, uh, populate templates. I can even pop this email out to a docked window here so that I can navigate through Salesforce and pick up information that maybe I want to be copying into an email. But the important factor being when I press send here, it's actually going to send from my Gmail client and you'll see those emails end up in your sent just the same as if you'd sent that message from right, right from Gmail itself. Uh, and that's great because you want to make sure what you're sending in Salesforce is searchable in your inbox. Um, yeah, so that's going to cover pretty much everything for Gmail. You're set up and ready to rock. We'll move into uh, you know how to progress through Salesforce in in the next video.